This year there was an election at Hebrew University for the Arab student group. There are 1,400 Arab students studying at Hebrew University on scholarships. A coalition of Arab groups headed by the sons of the village, the Nefa, which calls for a Palestinian state to replace Israel. Yes, they took control of Hebrew University's Arab Students Committee. That night, when it was announced that they had won, 80 Arab students chanted the Palestinian cry, with blood and spirit we will redeem you, O Palestine, and sang the PLO national anthem, Biladi. Who allows such students to be on the campus? I remember when I was in Knesset, there was a debate on some bill on education. And for some reason, Shimon Peres, who at that time was uh, prime minister, chose to, to answer for the, for the government. And he went in, into a whole speech about uh, education, and so he began to speak about Arabs. And he said, in 1948, there are only 110,000 Arabs living in Israel, all illiterate. And today, and as he said that, he stepped back, and it was as if the sun shone. He literally beamed, as he said. And today, 4,000 Arab students are studying in the universities of Israel. And I sat watching him saying, one of us is insane. <laughs> One of us is insane. I'm licking stuff. What wonderful news! Four thousand in our study. Do you know who the most dangerous Arabs in Israel are? Of course, it's the students on the campus. The revolution comes from them, not from the dumb and the dumb. It isn't some shuffling fella. Out on the out in the Galilee, it's his son, it's his daughter at Hebrew University, at Hyper University, at Tel Aviv, and for all the Orthodox Jews here at Bar Ilan, which has 250 of them. Now give a check. We got more. You allow Arabs to openly appropriate love who openly call for the end of Israel. You allow them to study with Jewish funds? We can't find 4,000 Spartan Jews who haven't got money who would love to study there? 